at some point I need to go to the hairdressers because I'm Tom Baker. Hello everyone and welcome to Film Mondays where we're going to be doing a film discussion. Today's piece of course is film directors. Um, of course I talked about the Academy Awards last week so I touched on my favourite film directors which is actually going to be last week but I thought because I watched the Oscars I thought I actually need to do a video on the Oscars before I get this video out. Of course I'm going to talk about a bit of news actually. Um, the Hawkeye poster and a poster for Hitman Age 47 has hit so I'm going to put um, pictures up in this video because they look really really cool uh, both of them of course they've been doing character posts for the Eng Avengers Age Ultron leading up to a certain announcement which it really sounds interesting and I can't wait for, I actually can't wait for a Hitman Age 47 because I played the Hitman Age Solution I just found out he's a brilliant character he's a lot that I quite like if, um, based on a lot that I like you know He's kind of that suave James Bond, but really like Lex Luthor, mixed with Lex Luthor and Batman, and, and uh, just a few other things. Um, so I'm looking forward to this new Hitman film, and of course when you watch the film, you may sort of get where I'm going with this. Because I really do like Hitman Absolution, the video game. First of favourite film directors, here we go! Okay, so number one, one of my favourite film directors, well, number, well actually I'm not going to do them in a particular order, is Steven Spielberg. <sighs> He's a brilliant, he, you know the name, even if you're not into film, or hugely into it, you will know the name. He's a phenomenal director, probably made one of the best, some of the best movies ever made. He made, he made a great debut, he made Jaws, that was really, really cool. Um, really liked that film, it was one of the first films I watched in year nine at school. Um, and did a film piece on it. I actually really enjoyed it, I liked the ending, with <laughs> exploding the shark. In by the mouth of the bullet and stuff. Um, Robert Shaw, Rich Dreyfus, and Roy Scheider are a great three way team um, trying to go out and get the shark. And of course, um, Roy Scheider, really, really good. And Rich Dreyfus came back for Crystal Council for Third Care, which actually is the only one I haven't seen. I've seen bits of it, but not much. I've also seen bits of ET. I really watched the whole thing again because. I do remember watching that and being really happy by it. Um, he's also produced some films. He's done like Bass of the Future. He's done. He's even done the recent Transformers movies. <laughs> probably because he's. I think he produces projects he was originally probably attached to. Like, I think um, he may have come back to do Jurassic World, but he's only an executive producer, sort of um, helping this new film happen. And he's done. He's done Jurassic Park. That's amazing. Talk about Jurassic World. Jurassic Park. Is great, and so is Stephen Private Ryan. Stephen Private Ryan, I am so happy that he won Best Director for that film because that film was amazingly shot. Actually, some of the best bits of the film, some of the bits that I resonated with when I watched it at school, and very few moments of actually in there was the older version of Matt Damon's character um, asking his wife if he was a good man. Late made my heart swell. I'm not gonna lie, and it's not probably not. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe Doctor Who did. Well, Doctor Who didn't really do it emotional as emotionally as Stephen Private Ryan. Um, but that question is clearly asked by men because of their actions and what they sort of do, and it betrays the absolutely amazing. Tom Hanks is brilliant in this world. Tom Hanks is one of my favourite actors, as proof by some of the my um as my next by next director on the list. Robert Zemeckis. Um, Robert Zemeckis is amazing. Bad to the Future trilogy. Fun. Bad to the Future one is my favorite movies of all time. Probably my favorite movie of all time. Not really at this moment. It's at this moment. Like I'm not saying oh it will always be it. Nothing will replace it. Something will replace it. I know. Saving Private Ryan is really and Forrest Gump are really up there as well. Um, as is Jaws. No, but um, Robert Zemeckis. He's the amazing Bad to the Future trilogy. He did Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Which I know of, and I, when I watch it, I don't think I've seen much of it, um, really. I just think it's that odd kids' film about a rabbit that falls in love with this supermodel thing. I don't know. It probably is deeper than I think, but that's what I see. Um, Romancing the Stone, Forrest Gump. That's That was Robert Zemeckis' ultimate Oscar win, was Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump is amazing. Life is like a box of chocolates. I probably want to make Tom Hanks one of my favourite actors. Um, I believe Sky Models Production also likes Tom Hanks. He's going to be doing a movie um, based... Uh, I think the movie's going to be made based on the Inferno Project. Him and Felicity Jones are, uh, I believe, cast. Um, 
How do I know the Inferno Project? Well, <laughs> that's the reasons why I wear this kind of shirt. Um, yes, Forrest Gump is absolutely amazing. He's also done some, to put him in modern context, he's done the uh, current Disney's A Christmas Carol 3D one with Jim Carrey. He did Polo Express, he's done Beowulf, he's done Flight with Denzel Washington, which I really want to watch because... I didn't realise that that was him, but I had heard of have had heard of that film. But I didn't realise that he was attached to the project. Um, he's doing a movie this year called The Walk, as the, and also Steven Spielberg's doing a Cold War film this year, but that's not got any details. And he's also doing the BFG. I keep doing this, it's amazing. Um, so that's cool. Another director, you probably know him as Nolan and Christopher. Christopher Nolan. Really great director, of course. The Dark Knight trilogy is amazing. Normally, directors make a trilogy that really show their strengths every sequel. Like, the first one is probably either quite well directed, there's some quite great moments still, and then the sequels just sort of kick it up a notch as the film it sort of evolves through the sequels. And that's what I really like seeing. Christopher Nolan is a great Madonna trilogy. Inception was really good. And I'm not going to lie, Interstellar is a really underrated blockbuster. I... Saw the cinema. I really enjoyed it. I really liked Interstellar. I did a review on it. A little spoiler for review. I'll, if I was going to do spoiler fill, it would be a bit of a longer video. But personally, even though it's long, people say it's a bit unwinded and you know it doesn't really go anywhere. No, I think it does. If I got the Blu-ray and watched it, I'd probably appreciate it more. I think that's what happens when the home media release for Interstellar actually happens. It's going to blow your minds. <laughs> because you're going to rewatch it and you're really going to interpret it, just like Inception. Even though I think Inception was critically better, and Interstellar probably because it was, it probably got a few science fiction aspects, uh, science aspects really wrong, but it's still a really great visual, amazing movie. It won Best Visual Effects at the Oscars. That's how good it is. I really like it. The soundtrack by Hans Zimmer, do you know what? It's something not Hans Zimmer y. It's not actually it's not Batman, it's not Superman. It's not even Inception with the dun 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 thunderous. It's more, it's more relaxed because you're in space and it's more, it's more him doing gravity. It's more, well gravity's got a bit of thrill, but if, it's more, it, it's like if he did, if Hans Zimmer did the music for Saving Private Ryan, no John Williams did, but if he sort of did a more, Hans, Man of Steel actually had that. Um, not saying that Zack Snyder is one of my favourite directors, he's pretty good. Um... Peter Jackson, absolutely amazing. Lord of the Rings trilogy was great, and the Hobbit trilogy was brilliant as well. You know, him returning um, to really patch up an amazing story and something he's really passionate about, because originally Guillermo del Toro is going to take the reins. But, um, yeah, thing is, um, some people actually prefer the Hobbit trilogy, or have grown, going to the cinema a bit, uh, grown up a bit now to watch the Hobbit trilogy, and because of the actors appearing in other blockbusters or appearing in other movies, it sort of more appealed to them. And I'm probably under the category that The Hobbit, personally, I'm probably... Some say Lord of the Rings is a hard growing trilogy, it's a really long... Many trilogies have that sort of criticism. But The Hobbit is a bit... It, you, he sort of takes a, a seat back, really, in a way. That he's... Yes, he's directing and he's sort of helming the project, but already loves respect and knows of the source material and he could really go into it with the fact that I've won an Oscar for best picture for the Return of the King if I cock up it's not going to be my downfall but a lot of the rings probably we're making that maybe that's what it that's what how he could have felt and the Hobbit of course had Marty Freeman um amazing Benedict Cumberbatch as Smaug really brilliant as well and um Luke Evans, who is Dracula now, but is a really good actor. Like I, I can imagine him in quite a lot of stuff. Happy, that that's something I'd like to see. Um, yes, but of course, many Lord of the Rings actors do come back, like um, Orlando Bloom, um, Christopher Lee as Saruman. Yep, and yeah, just, just it was really cool. And a director I quite like, um, people like him too, Brad Bird. Um, sort of, I did a top five, sort of. Uh, Brad Bird, he's done The Incredibles, which is pretty stellar, isn't it? It's stellar. He also did Ratatouille. 
So he did he pretty much an incredible ratatouille, but in the middle was cars. Um, those were, those ratatouille was good. I think it's it's actually pretty good. I don't think it's anything outstanding, but it's pretty good. I quite liked it when I saw it in cinema, so there was a, an appeal to it. It's probably one of the last Pixar films I. The Toy Story three, the like ratatouille. I bought the video game. I got the books and stuff. Like, as a child, I thought this, that was my last point, but to, Toy Story 3, I was just getting into being a teenager and stuff, so, yeah. Um, got a little bit of a Pixar story there. <laughs> um, and he's done Mission Possible Ghost Protocol, which looks, and the after scenes and everything, and it's all thing, look fantastic. Really did. Absolutely incredible. Um, and he's doing a film this year. Most directors are doing the film this year, apart from Christopher Nolan, who did one last year. Um, this one, and Peter Jackson is doing the Tintin sequel, I believe it's going to be next year or the year after, but we'll see about that. Um, Brad Bird's got Tomorrowland, which I probably going to go in really blind, has maybe, an, another film for Tony Hickson going blind is probably that um, Moby Dick film with, with Chris Hemsworth, um, and The Walk, probably with Robert Zemeckis, and... I probably want to follow the project of in the Inferno movie, because that would be really cool. Tom Hanks and Felicity Jones. Probably need to watch Theory of Everything for Felicity Jones, because she what? No, she didn't. No, she didn't win Best Actress in the Oscars. I think that was Patricia Arquette for Boyhood. Or was am I am I getting things mixed up? No, she had a. But I think she won Best Actress in some awards. I don't think it's the Oscars, but I think something. And I think she has some talent, so I think she can pull it off. So yeah, those are some of my favourite film directors, not all, but some. Hope you enjoyed it. I quite like Ridley Scott. The thing is, I didn't put him, there's some directors that I think, I don't think I've watched enough of their filmography. I think Ridley Scott, he's done Alien movies, he's done, um, he did a Gladiator movie, and he, and he has, and he has a sort of certain style of grit, and it sort of like grit to both genres, sort of, or action, Roman historical gladiator and then you've got sci-fi that's really well and an, oh another one probably one of my favorite i think he's going to be up and coming neil blomkamp who recently greenlit an alien movie project another alien movie and he actually came out recently and said that he thinks he fucked up elysium no i don't think he did i really liked elysium the only one i actually had, i think i really want to watch district nine now i believe he did that peter jackson was involved i think but I think he actually probably directed um, District 9. That was um, I heard that's really, really amazing. But probably not to go out and watch it get in there. <laughs> but yeah. Neil Blomkamp, you get in there. As is... Um, what's his face? Uh, who directed Kingsman? Vince Vaughn. That's it. Um, I actually haven't seen Kingsman. The only one I've actually seen of his filmography is X-Men First Class. I haven't seen the first Kick-Ass. Or two. Who directed the second one? I've no idea. Oh, let me search that. But yes, that has been my film director's video. Thank you for watching, and my next film video on Monday will be some of my favourite pieces of music of film. I will see you guys soon. Bye bye!